Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about uh, uh, reading data from MySQL database in C Sharp. So let's start. So we have created this form in our previous tutorial. So let's uh, see the working of this form. So I'll run this form, and now I enter a name here, Khan, and then Gol into other name, and then address Peshawar. And now if I insert this, so it successfully inserted this data. So you will see this um, in our database. So if I come here and I have opened localhost PHP my admin, and now if I, you can see we have seven records. So if I refresh this, so we have this add record here. Now I'll go here. Now if you want to, or learn about inserting data so you can go and uh, watch the previous tutorial of this series now we will get data into this grid view uh, with this uh, read button so i'll double click on this and uh, we will create the code here now first i will go here and copy this up to here Control c this and now i'll control v it here now this is the server name uid password and database name and now i'll copy this connection string as well um, from here i'll remove this i'll remove this because we have it at the top so i'll copy this connection string Control c this and now i'll go down go down to our button and now i'll control v it here now we will write the code so I can copy the code from here because it is the same, but we will write it down so that you can understand this. Now I'll close this down, close this down, and I will close this as well. Now we have space. So first we need my SQL uh, connection. Now if you can't find my SQL connection, then you need to install the driver for my SQL which we have done in our previous tutorial. So now here I will use connection equals new MySQL um, connection. And now here we will pass in the connection string. So here, here I will use uh, small brackets and con uh, string. And I'll put semicolon here. Now it is uh, created. So now we will create my scale command. My scale command cmd equals new my scale command. And now we will pass in the query here. So I'll create a query. So for that, I will come here to the top here and i'll create a query here so string query equal to select eric uh, from std now i will check the table name so it is std table so i'll go here std table and now i'll put semicolon here now our uh, query is created, so uh, we forgot a step here. We have to open the connection, so connection dot open. And now I'll put small bracket and semicolon. Now we will pass in the query first, and then we will pass in the connection. So connection, and now we are good to go. Now I'll create a scale data reader. My scale data reader reader equals um, cmd dot execute reader and now I'll put semicolon. Now, as if I go to design, we have created this uh, uh, data grid view. If I go to its properties, so its name is uh, data grid view is td. So we have to load the data into this. Uh, data grid view with this with this button click so if i go here now at the end here i'll create a data table data 
टेबल डीटी इक्वल्स न्यू डेटा टेबल एंड नॉल पर सेम कॉलन एंड नाउ वी विल यूज डीटी डॉट लोड एंड हियर वी विल पास इन द रीडर एंड नॉल पर दिस इन सेम कॉलन and uh, now as we have our dt uh, loaded with data so now we will use data grid views std dot data source equals to dt and now for semicolon now i'll run this now the form is running so if i click on this uh, read button so it had read all the data and shown here now you can see it here it records and now if i go here to the database and to the table we have it records here so we have read all the records and shown it here and the data grid view so i think that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you